Okay. Okay. I mean, I love you. I'm fighting the feelings mutual. But you ain't getting me back, man. You delusional. I should have been left your ass, huh? I would like to see it. One, two, three. What's up, y'all? It's Ken and Nina back with another video. So today, you guys are gonna watch me up close and personal as I get a silk press. On that note, please bear with me for this voiceover stuff. I haven't had a silk press in six months, so let's see how this goes. So yeah, what you guys see here now is the stylist preparing my hair to be rinsed and shampooed. What you guys saw earlier was her patiently detangling my hair, which I greatly appreciate. It's hard enough as is to find a stylist, let alone a natural hairstylist who does not upcharge based on their own ignorance and laziness to natural hair types and textures. It's just not right to upcharge because someone didn't manipulate their hair to your liking before they came to you. But let me stop complaining. Anyways, so what you guys see now is the stylist beginning the wash with the rinse. She's thoroughly rinsing my hair to get that extra dirt and gunk up out of there to make the wash process a little bit easier. Y'all notice them water droplets forming? Or it's just me? Yes, it's because I have low porosity hair. This basically means that my hair sucks at absorbing moisture because of the tightness of my hair shaft. Coming up, the stylist is going to be adding the shampoo and beginning the wash. So this is her adding in the shampoo. In the meantime, enjoy this brief history of my natural hair. I decided to go natural about four years ago. And in those four years, I wasn't really taking care of my hair like I should have been. And that ultimately resulted in me having the most consistent and indestructible dead ends and split ends ever. I always had to get more hair cut off than what was expected because my split ends have gotten that bad. I identify my hair type as 4B, 4C. As you all may know, type 4B and 4C is the hardest to maintain curl definition in. But it's Kina Nina is very optimistic. So you guys can start expecting more hair care videos from me, such as hair moisturization, length retention, growth, and just overall healthy hair because that's what I'm here to promote. We're going to learn and grow as a team. You feel me? So as you guys can see, the stylist is putting her heart and soul into this wash and Lord, did it feel good. Yes, it did. It's the scalp scratches for me, y'all. Ooh, child, she getting up in now. The thing about low porosity hair is that it takes a while for your hair to rejuvenate. As I previously stated, I did have in locks for about three months. And with locks, your hair is, well, your real hair is braided down in singles. And as your hair is braided down in singles, that's technically a stretching method. So my hair was basically stretching for about three months. With having low porosity hair, it takes a minute for that moisture to penetrate back through to your hair and to shrink back up. So that is why you guys may be having a hard time seeing my curl pattern. As of now, the stylist is brushing through and detangling my hair so she can evenly distribute the conditioner. Can she get a round of applause, please? Look at how she's detangling my hair. From ends to roots, I love to see it. So glad that I got my split ends cut. 
Y'all gonna see how nasty my ends look in just a second. You can't be split and dead. You gotta choose a struggle. <laughs> stop playing. I wish I was, love, bruh. The fuck stop playing? What the fuck is that? So the stylist did a great job with my wash. I ended up getting my hair washed three times, detangled, and deep conditioned. The next part of this process is gonna be me getting my hair blow dried. So if you guys see me jump anytime throughout the blow drying or the flat ironing process, just know that I do have a strong fear of flat irons. So even the steam from the blow dryer or the steam from the flat iron is gonna make me jump. So yeah, please bear with me. No, the stylus is not hurting me. No, she's not burning me. The jumps are due to my own fear. So guys, we're getting closer to the final step. As you can see, my hair is almost completely blow dried. Look at those ends though. I be so excited about my new growth. Come to find out my new growth gotta get chopped off. I would like to see it in my Monique voice, man. Yes. Next, you all will be seeing the stylist section off my hair and get into business. She was confirming with me what side I wanted my part on and I went ahead and told her to write. Yes, it is. And shout out to my girl, Lon Daxi, for coming through with my tripod cutting. I highly recommend you guys subscribe and check out her channel. The stylist has now sectioned off my hair to begin the straightening process. Luckily, this hairstylist uses a mini flat iron to get the baby hairs. So I wasn't as fearful as I usually am when I get a silk press. So that's why you might not see me jumping as much. So yeah, that's a good thing. to the final look this stylist is halfway through flat ironing my hair the next step of this process that you guys are going to be seeing is the trim
Stylist is making her way with the flat iron. As you guys can see, we're almost done. So here we are wrapping up with the flat ironing. Next, she's about to get into my trim. getting into this trim with a quickness as I previously stated I did want to get my hair cut into a blunt cut bob but after she trimmed it I already liked the length that it was falling my hair was falling to like a nice blunt cut bob length anyways like shoulder length so I decided to keep it at the length that she trimmed it to So we're finally reaching the ending of this silk press. It took about an hour and 30 minutes for me to get it done. Next, I'm gonna be showing you guys some before and after pics, so stay tuned. This is how my hair looked pressed before the trim. And this is how my hair looked silk pressed after the trim. So this is the official final look for this silk press and I love it. I wore this style for my birthday photo shoot in these photos and it was amazing. For those of you interested, the stylist will be in the description box. Once again, it's Keenanina. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe and be on the lookout for another video.